Lisa DeLeo was creamy with brown freckles like a toasted coconut cream pie. She made your mouth water. She also was fast and brassy and could act more than most. Lisa DeLeo was one that got away. Sad to say. Okay, we're rolling. Okay. You know, we never, we worked together in Garage Girls. Mm Mm-hmm. And I think that's it. I think so. I saw you on a few sets, but we never were in the same scene after that. Yeah. So we've really had two very different careers in this business. And I don't know you very well. I know you when I flash on you, but we've hardly spent any time chatting or... Did you have a main person that hired you? Like Sam Weston was my main guy. He hired me for everything. Yeah, Lewis Brothers hired me a lot. Uh-huh. They did, oh gosh, eight or nine features with me. And then Ron Sullivan, I worked on a few things for him. Henri Bouchard. When did you start? I started in 1978. And it wasn't really films that I started on. I started out doing the, uh, the stills. And that was in August of 78, so it's been almost 10 years. Who were you right before it hit? Who was I? Yeah. I was a Midwestern farm girl who had been selling cars and got fired because I wouldn't get backseat test drive. How old? I was 18 at the time, and then I just turned 19. And I was For more of this interview and many others, as well as blog posts, articles, and photos about the golden age of adult film in New York and beyond, visit therialtoreport.com.